Good morning, Silent Steppers. What up? Miss War is coming to you from heading I 10, heading to Pensacola Marcon, grabbing parts first thing this morning. Gonna get there before they open because I got a crazy, a really busy day. Got a lot to accomplish. Had a great workout this morning. What I want to talk about this morning is Smart HQ. And the reason I want to talk about Smart HQ, Smart HQ. For those of you who have it, I strongly recommend you go to the YouTube channel and you go through the different uh, ways to check different appliances. The worst thing you can ever do, ask me how I know, is buy a tool and not maximize the use of the tool. The whole purpose of uh, person purchasing the Smart HQ is to be ahead of the game. You know, I just finished watching them. Actually, still, I'm probably about 40 minutes in to a. Uh, um, a video on YouTube about the dishwashers um, and all the things that you can do with Smart HQ. We've had an upsurge in dishwashers, so I am really big about being versed on whatever I touch so I can diagnose quickly, efficiently, and like the professional I'm supposed to be. So I use Smart HQ in regards to those GE products. Of course, I use it on all the uh, refrigerators. I got a GE refrigerator also that I'm working with. So whenever I go in and I'm able to plug in, go through the process and diagnose quickly, it's always a win. And I think that um, these are things that as technicians, we need to become more versed in and more comfortable with utilizing all the digital tools available to not only take care of our customers, but make our businesses much more efficient. The reason why I'm having this conversation is because there are several people that I know who don't have one, and I don't know if you're living under a rock or what your life looks like, but you need to fix that like yesterday. I don't give a damn if you're out there or not, or if you see little GEs or not. The reality is GE is not going to be the only one moving like this. Those of us who have access to Haas and, you know, with Samsung and blah, 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 the game is meant to be <laughs> sold, not told. So you don't want to get into a job and you're there two to three hours because you don't understand basic arithmetic. That's exactly how I say to feel about it. One plus one equal two. Because when you show up, you want to show up professional. If you pull out your iPad or you pull out your phone or your you know tablet, whatever you're using, the customer's always impressed when you see them operate their unit from remotely, from your phone or your, your tablet. And the key is you want to wow them and also you want them to stay in their lane. Because what they thought they know, they don't know. And then that really shows how much you are the expert. You know, at the end of the day, y'all got to get it together. And the reason I'm telling you is because 2023 ain't waiting on no man. <laughs> 2023 is already leaving people in the dust. Trust me. I mean, I've never seen so many people tell me how slow it was. And I'm like, slow? Well, I ain't slow. I'm trying to manage and, uh, man, shoot, I got areas I got to pull back in because they're affecting my big bags. You know, the reality is you got to understand where to prioritize, where to plant your seeds, and how to grow your business. The only way to do that is to stay, keep your eyes peeled and stay in your business. If you're in the business, you know how to make the accurate moves. Because when you're dealing with blue-collar millionaires, the trades, the difference between the ones who last and ones who don't has to do with the choices they make early on. This is a fact. I don't know what you heard, but this is reality. Whenever you start a business, you know, it's nothing wrong with how you start. You feel me? Because it's a learning process. I don't know why people think your business got to be perfect. Every time I talk to somebody, I hear some damn frustration. And the frustration is coming from how it's not going the way they want it to be. Well, welcome to life, bro. This is what the real the world looks like. You're going to have to get out here and persevere. You're going to have to, like prime example. I'm going to give you a prime example. I got this thing about sweet potato pie, right? So I know I don't need no sweet potato pie, but I'm one of the people that if I just want it, so I'm just giving in, I'm gonna be done. And the reason I'm like that is because I don't need that sitting on my brain. I go, I eat the sweet potato pie, I deal with the consequences, and then I go hard during, in the gym because I just confirm why the hell I don't need it because of the way I felt with all that sugar in my system, processed sugar among other things. We all know the sugar is the devil, but that's a different conversation. The reality is my 
goal in my life is to be as clear-minded as possible to make accurate decisions because the only thing I can rely on is myself and God. I'm a clear about that. So there are people that work with me, work for me, you know, blah, 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 and they depend on me being able to make clear decisions. That's called leadership, whether you like it or not. I'm what they call a reluctant leader. I didn't ask for it. I ain't necessarily want it, but it's just my DNA. So I got to do what I got to do. Ain't no need crying about it. You know, if you have certain skill sets that just you rise above the pack, it just is what it is. A lot of people look at you and be like, oh, la, la, la. They don't understand. There's a price you pay. You know, when y'all look at these, these church leaders and these other people in the world that you think doing good, you don't know what the hell is going on behind the scenes. Because a lot of people have, as we found out this week, I'm still questioning that little suicide situation over there with Twitch because I'm, I'm not I'm not buying it. But, you know, it's none of my business. I just pray for his family, his wife, and his uh, his mom and dad, you know, the people that, that gave and hold. They got to deal with every day. They not they can't pick up the phone and talk to him. His wife can't roll over and feel her husband. Uh, the kids are still looking for their daddy and no, it don't make sense. They babies. And this is why y'all kill me when y'all out here not taking advantage of every opportunity. Don't you think that man wish he was here today? You feel me? Y'all don't understand. Life is, is no joke. You ain't promised nothing because you don't understand what's going to happen. You don't know what's on the other side of that rainbow, you know? And that's why every opportunity you have to step up and go get it, you got to go get it. I don't care if you're quaking in your book, boots because the only thing, it's only scary to your ass do it. Then you get there and be like, damn, it wasn't that bad. You're damn right. It really ain't. It's all in your mind, man. And that's the thing y'all don't understand. That's why mindset is so important. Get your mindset together. Get your mindset together. Just make sure you're around people who are like-minded, who want the same things, because as long as you are taking counsel from fools and idiots and broke-ass people, you're going to be just like them. You might be the smartest one in the broke, but your ass still broke. Ask me how I know. I'm trying to tell you. But the reality is, man, you got to want this. You got to want to open up a business. You got to want to have a side hustle. Like I said, a lot of people I deal with, they have full-time jobs. A lot of people I coach, and they make... They make more in appliance repair than on their regular job, but then they got benefits. You know, it makes the wife feel comfortable or the husband still feel comfortable if they still keep in their traditional job. The reality is don't be around people you outgrowing. I tell you that. Next, like I said, get your Smart HQ, which is the uh, diagnostic tool you use to plug into GE products that come with the Ethernet portal. Ethernet, Ethernet portal. And it's really, you know, like I said, RJ45 plug. Real simple. It ain't that damn hard. The reality is y'all gotta want it, man. I'm seeing a lot of people talking it, but they don't want it. The first obstacle show up, oh, I failed. Man, you know how many times I've been hit upside the head? How many times things have failed? How many times things didn't go my way every fucking day but it is what it is you either built or you ain't built if you ain't built stay behind that desk do what you do and maximize that i ain't hating on nobody i'm damn sure not hating on the w2s a lot of people think i do but i really don't because i understand what that looks like man i remember working my job and i was calculating i'm like okay i need a bus you know buck 20 buck 50 this year and I would calculate what I needed to do to hit those numbers and I always surpassed them, you know? When I was a younger uh, manager. But you'd be surprised, the choices I made, the things I did, did I didn't even realize I was um, going way beyond everybody else. That's all I knew. And that's what people couldn't understand, how I had no problem making the choices that I had to make at that time in that arena to not only excel, but be better than everybody around me with less, with, with less resources. Because I don't know what failure is, man. I know what hard times is. I know what struggle is. I know what uh, challenges are. But I don't know what failure is. That's not in my vocabulary, man. And I believe me, I done came to times where I've had to pick up the phone. People had to talk me off the ledge because I was emotionally and spiritually ready to give up. But I have a support system that I can reach out to who out here doing the same shit I'm doing.
so they understand. So if they, hey, because they understand, that's why I don't talk to, I love my family, but I don't talk to them because let me tell you, you let my mom and them say, oh, it's, if it get too much, you can, I'm like, mom, I almost cussed my mom out. I had to remember she was my mom when she said that to me one more time. Tell me, when have you ever seen me give up? Like, really? Who are you? You sure you my mama? But the reality is, is that, you know, people see you going through and in their mindset and their limited scope, they're concerned, you know, but that's why I stay to myself because I love you to death, but, you know, I understand what I gotta, got. I gotta deal with the choices I make as a boss, as a woman, as a human being, as a phenomenal American, blessed to be in this country, because I have these opportunities. Y'all better ask somebody, boy, this, we don't even want to start that conversation. If I hear one more person sitting here talking about drama and what they can't do, I mean, if you don't get out your own damn way, get away from them, them closed-minded people in that closed-in place you in. It's America is huge. You can go places and just pick up the bag. You'll trip over a bag. Oh, where I'm at right now, I swear. I think many times about moving over here simply because I understand what's here. But I also am very clear that everything has to do with choices and in proper time. And that's the blessing of being an American. If you plot your steps properly and you order your, your steps properly, you know, then destiny will show up. You just need to be ready. With that said, that's enough gems for y'all today. Get it in, have an outstanding Monday, and never look back. It's Ward signing out. Holla at your solid steppers. Take the Titans.